Tex Schramm built the Dallas dynasty, but his one-time strained relationship with Jerry Jones and severed ties with the Cowboys led Schramm to ask a friend, will they remember? Tex Schramm died Tuesday at his home at the age of 83. Matt Weiner tells us the football visionary who swiped Bob Hayes and Roger Staubach in a late round to the draft has his answer. We'll all remember. Only a man of his singular vision and skill could live up to the name Texas E. Schramm. But when it comes to pro football, maybe no one casts a longer shadow over the Lone Star State. As the architect of the expansion Cowboys, Schramm hired Tom Landry as the team's first head coach in 1960. Together, they transformed the team from winless laughing stocks in their first season into the league's biggest attraction and longest lasting powerhouse. Under their stewardship, the Cowboys enjoyed 20 consecutive winning seasons, 13 division titles, and five Super Bowl appearances, including a pair of championships. Under Schramm, the organization also gained a reputation for draft day brilliance, but his influence extended far beyond personnel matters. Schramm's marketing genius turned Dallas into America's team, and the hallmarks of Cowboys football, the stars in the team's helmets, the world-famous cheerleaders, even the hole in the roof at Texas Stadium, all bore his fingerprints and helped create the mystique that made them the most popular team in the NFL. Schramm's inventiveness transcended his organization as well. Among his innovations felt league-wide, the use of instant replay by officials, radios in quarterbacks' helmets, and starting the play clock immediately after the previous play. The NFL's wild card? Schramm's development in 1970. And his stamp on the league went far deeper than game time. Schramm played a key role in the NFL-AFL merger in 1966. And his idea to use replacement players is credited with quickly ending the strike of 1987 and triggering the labor piece that continues to this day. Tex was, was kind of revered by, by many. He was very instrumental in, in the growth, growth of the National Football League. Tex Ram was 39 when he was hired to start the NFL team in Dallas. He was 41 by the time they won a game. His contributions, not just to the Cowboys, but to the entire NFL, are countless. Chiefs owner Lamar Hunt said he would run out of ink if you tried to write them all down. Schramm gave Paul Tagliabue his first job in the game. The now commissioner said the NFL family has lost one of its giants. Yet for all the league-wide love pouring in, Tex was a cowboy. He wanted to see not only the Dallas Cowboys look good, but he wanted the National Football League as a whole to be the most outstanding professional sport that, they, that you could put on, on, a, on a field or on TV. And uh, because of his efforts, a lot of that was taken care of. Had it not been for Tex Ram and what Tex Ram and his partner in a sense, and Coach Landry, did for 29 years, <clears throat> I wouldn't have wanted to uh, commit uh, the things that I personally uh, was about uh, 14 years ago to the future of this franchise. Tex Schramm left the Cowboys in 1989, two months after Jerry Jones bought the team and fired Tom Landry, his hire. Just last April, Jones decided the man who created Texas Stadium's Ring of Honor should be in it. Schramm will become the 12th honoree, joining the 11 others he brought to Dallas.